hello. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Marie Marcel, reality show. Oh, that's right, I am back in here in my little kitchen. Today, I am going to show you how to make egg noodles. Now, a lot of you guys just buy, you know, egg noodles when you go to the store and make whatever noodles you want. But today, I'm going to show you how to make simple noodles homemade. That's right. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to... Um, Use bread flour, okay? So the way to measure your bread flour, now like I have mentioned before, this is how you're gonna measure your bread flour. Alright, so you get a knife, you get a knife. So I'm going to mix this. Alright, so this is one cup of bread flour, half teaspoon salt, one egg, and one tablespoon of water. Now you can always add more water later on, but so that's what I'm doing. Now, it all depends upon your kitchen when you're mixing something, all right? So if you need to add more water, just, you know, add a little bit of a time, okay? All right, so I think this is good. So what I'm gonna do here, wait a minute, don't do anything with the camera, because guys, I have my friend holding the camera and I'm going to flour my board. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer all my batter here and I'm going to knead this. Alright guys, so uh, the dough has been resting for another hour. You know, you can also put this in the fridge and then it out later and start kneading if you don't have a lot of time so what I'm gonna do now because I actually made two batch I showed you how to make the one batch which is one cups of or oh no one cups of bread flour okay one cups of bread flour half this one of salt you can just add water little by little and knead it and here we go so I'm going to um, knead this using this all right i'm gonna put this aside so i'm just gonna like do it like this I'm going to sprinkle this with cornstarch. Cornstarch. I mean, guys, you can use this for pasta, spaghetti, stir fry noodles. I mean, it's just good. Isn't that lovely? I mean, and of course, once you you boil this in the water, see. So um, that's what it looked like. So let me see what I look like next to the noodles. Let me see. you can also make this egg noodles this noodles without eggs because some people are allergic to eggs so you don't even need to mix this with eggs you can just use this with bread flour salt and water now if you are a low sodium you can just reduce the salt but hey who wants some noodle i do <laughs> all right guys so um i'm making two different types of you know crispy noodles one with sesame and one with the regular because i'm going to be mixing this with also with cinnamon sugar i'm going to show you exactly how to make different kinds of crispy noodles now when you go to the restaurant while you're waiting for your food when you go to like asian restaurant 
or any other place, not just Asian. They usually have this while you're waiting. Uh oh, my dough is a little sticky. So, what what I did here, guys? Um, I mix a dough with sesame seeds. Sesame seed. Sticking a little bit. Oops. All right. So, there you go. Just gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, this is a sesame. Sesame. So I'm going to roll this, mix it with a little bit of flour. Alright. So that's the regular. And this is the with the sesame. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold um you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this in half all right Yeah, make sure you don't want to cut it too thick, all right? The same thing. Just have to fold it in three. All right, so you guys follow me. So the first thing I showed you guys how to make the egg noodles and now I'm going to show you how to make that nice crispy noodles so you don't want your noodle to stick together what you need to do is you can put flour or cornstarch So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to fry this with vegetable oil. Now you can use canola oil, you can use peanut oil, okay? You can use olive oil. Because the olive oil don't really like the heat that much. So I'm going to use vegetable oil. So for those of you guys who doesn't know how to make crispy noodles, this is all you have to do. Alright guys, so uh, the way to, to test if your oil is ready is just get a piece of chopstick or whatever if you don't have the uh, thermometer. When you see the bubbles on your stick, it means your oil is ready. So, this seat is about maybe 300 degrees, okay. I'm gonna put it down. Guys, it's always good to get a portable stove. So what I'm gonna do first, I am going to fry this noodle. Now this one is too long, so you can just go ahead and cut it however long you want, you know? But I think this is a good size for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna twist. 
because I'm trying to make a design. So twist, twist, twist. All right, give it a nice twist. Or you can just twist it like that. Woo! Okay, just go ahead and twist. Come put the camera a little bit down. Yep, that's right. Because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing here. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. We want to make this nice and brown all right guys so i am finally done frying the egg noodles now i made one regular egg noodles and one with the sesame so i'm going to set this aside i'm going to show you exactly what i mean all right so this is the one with a all right guys so i showed you how to make the sesame egg noodle fried noodles and I also have sesame here, cinnamon, and I have regular. So what I'm gonna do, I have this nice regular stick. Hey, you know, serve this while your friends are waiting, okay? Isn't this lovely? I mean, hey. This will be good while your friends are all waiting for their for dinner. So what I'm gonna do here, you know what this is what I'm gonna do. So I don't wanna com confuse people. One with beef sesame. Wow, so lovely. If you have shape like this, just cut it off. All right. So that is sesame. Uh, this one is also sesame. Sesame, sesame, sesame. We're all gonna go like sesame. <laughs> It's just a lovely appetizer. And I have one regular here. Make it a little fancy. Now I'm pretty sure your friends will love this. It's like eating chips. That once you eat one, you cannot stop. You just have to keep on going and going and going. So this is the sesame. If my friends can put the camera a little bit just down. All right, so this is a sesame. And now, I made some cinnamon stick in here. So if you have any bowl, I know this is for supposed to be like the sauce. <laughs> All right, this is what I am so goofy. You know, I'm always moving around. That's why I don't have like a lot of um, plates. And this is the cinnamon stick. This is just sugar with cinnamon. It's just a good appetizer. It's not like appetizer, it's more like a snack. You know, it's more like a snack. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. So 
So you always want to put this on the side. So if you're having a restaurant, if your customer want more, and hey, you can always go back to the kitchen and serve some more. Yeah? All right, so guys, this is the sesame, which is this one. It's nice and crunchy. This is a regular crispy noodles. And this is the cinnamon. I mean, hey, everybody loves cinnamon, so I'm gonna stop. You guys hear that sound? I know it's just something about cinnamon and sugar combined. Just like wow. Once you eat one, you just keep on going. Mm. Alright, nice. So um I ran out of sweet and sour sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put mustard. You can you can mix with any kinds of sauce you want. Like mustard, tamarind sauce, or mango sauce, or whatever you want. I have this nice sriracha. Like I said, you can make any kinds of sauce. See? So I think I'm going to, with the nutty flavor of this sesame, I'm going to put a little bit of mustard. Mm. Wow. It's like eating chips. Once you eat one, you just keep on going. You hear the crunchiness? Wow. Now I'm going to try with the hot sauce. Since I don't have a sweet and sour sauce, I run out. Let's see. That's good too. Wow. I'm gonna have to go to the gym. Tomorrow. All right, guys. So I am done for today. I showed you how to make the egg noodles from the beginning to end. So what I did with this was uh, I showed you I how to make like one bread flour, half teaspoon of salt, one egg, and water. Now what I did first is I mix the egg and the water. Okay, mix that together, and then I combine that to my dry mixture, which is. The bread flour and the salt now you just have to watch uh, how much liquid you're putting to your dough because once you need the dough you don't want it to be too wet you want your dough to be a little dry okay and you have to knead it about 10 to 15 minutes I mean you have to set it aside wait until it double in size you have to knead it again and then knead it again now some people they just put this in the fridge for hours and hours and hours but I'm just doing a demonstration guys I mean it's as good as well this is just it's just good I mean hey I think I'm gonna eat all this because I plan to eat the gym anyway tomorrow mm. wow just nice sesame you know you see that nothing all right so guys thank you so much for um, spending time with me today once again this is Maria Marcel reality show please always check my channel because I'm gonna be uploading and I'm gonna be traveling <clears throat> and but I will be uploading a lot of videos how to cook this and how to cook that or whatever I'm doing so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share and please make a comment below and hey let me know what you want me to make you next. So um, until then, thank you so much for watching. This is Maria Marcel. I just want to shout out to all Team Happy out there. Um, you know who you are, all my Team Happy members. <laughs> I like you guys. All right, God bless.